YouTube, YouTube, what is going on today? Hey, I'm back. I got some good news. Uh, we got the update coming. It's going on right now. I actually came home today on my lunch break to be able to throw this in real quick because it takes that little bit of time. Uh, this is going to be a 15 minute, 20 minute mod and we're going to get it done and get it over with. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it, but nonetheless, this guy right here, okay, fuel rail plug. Uh, this one, and I will compare them with each other later, but this is what we're going to be swapping out right now. Also, we have a confirmed lift pump on the way coming to this house, all right? My choice I went with was an AirDog 4G. I'm going to talk about that later, but for right now, because I'm on my lunch break, I want to get this going and I want to get this done before I leave so that way I can get the video chopped up and stuff and get it on to you guys, okay? So nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and get started with this uh, upgrade. Right Okay, so I have the, this is the new rail plug. Okay, now this is for six seven Cummins. Five nine is very similar, just a little bit different. Okay, so right behind the intake manifold, back here, and it's going to be extremely hard to see. I'm going to have to take the horn off. Right behind here, there is a rail plug at the end of the fuel rail. Okay, what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to get full full fuel value through you know pulls and high rpm runs and stuff okay so stock these trucks came with uh pretty much they came with to where it was a relief valve incorporated around 13 uh well no, i'm sorry around 29 27 000, they would relief and drop the pressure so you would experience if you get up on your truck and you notice it you know you get to about 3,000 rpm and then it kind of like stalls and then dips down a little bit uh, it's probably because your fuel rail pressure dropped because it drops it because it's kind of like a safety feature. Thing is, is that unless you're pushing massive fuel, like I'm talking 35,000, 40,000 PSI, it's not going to be detrimental. So for your average truck guy like me, you know, you're just trying to make a mild, a mild uh, truck, you know, 700, 800 horsepower, even a thousand, you're really fine. Like uh, when you start getting into like triple setup CP3s, stuff like that, that's when it starts to get, you might want to go back to the old one and you can actually shim the the original one if you do not want to buy this um i bought this from rudy's diesel it is a rdp here's the i'm thinking that's the part number it is a rdp uh fuel rail plug now this one in particular is good for 04 and a half to 10 duramax and 07 and a half to 12 coming six seven okay uh i could have gotten the cheap little knockoff ones but i like rdp um they're actually the sump that i went with so we're going to use that all right so i'm going to go ahead get this removed you guys already seen me remove this before for the uh, grid here delete mod so you guys know what it looks like so i'm going to go ahead and get this removed and then we're going to go from there okay all right so i'm back so i went ahead i didn't fully remove it the intake manifold i got it out just enough let me zoom in here there is where your fuel rail plug is going to be okay this guy right here if you look this is your fuel manifold up front right here it's probably gonna be tight so be ready to uh, break it but get that loose there's gonna be a crush washer in there make sure you take the washer and put it on your new one uh, and unless it's completely crap then you might want to get a new one okay so I'm gonna go ahead and swap them out get this back in and then crank her up so I went ahead and took him out that is the old one notice how it has that little relief valve up top and this is just solid flat okay uh, I think it's like billet aluminum or something like that. Uh, this is what it looks like over here. It's taken out already. So we're going to get the new one in. It's actually warm out here today, so I'm sweating. But we're going to get this on. I just wanted to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of, of them, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay, you guys. Hey, real quick, you guys, uh, the torque for that, I forgot to mention this earlier, the torque for that bolt, I mean, for that rail plug is going to be 70 foot-pounds, so I got my torque wrench, it's probably not going to focus, I got my torque wrench set to 70 foot-pounds, I'm going to go ahead and torque it, get the manifold and stuff back on, and then I'm going to show you guys final product, startup, leak check, and we'll go. All right, everybody, this is a done job right here. Everything's back in place. Oh, wait, nope, I lied. I forgot to plug up whatever this is, some vacuum port or something. Should have probably plugged that up before. I'm gonna need two hands for that one second. Okay, now I'm really back. 
Alrighty then. So everything's back in, tightened down, snugged up. If you guys were curious for the torque for the manifold, I really don't care. I just snug them down, get them real nice and tight. Uh, it's like 17 foot pounds. So well, it's not like it's 16 to 18 foot pounds. Um, but you can see. Let me see if I can get a good zoom in there. There we are. Okay. Focus. Come on, baby. Focus. There we go. Camera's kind of slow sometimes. All right. So here it is. She's in. And that's it. So if you're looking here on the 59 Cummins, instead of yours being there, let's see if I can hold this and not shake it. Instead of yours being on top, right there, yours is gonna be right here where my finger is tapping. Okay, that is honestly the the main difference between the 59 and 67. So I mean, if you're a 59 guy watching this, you know this is it's a super simple install. Um, it took me, and I was going fast. It took me probably 10 minutes to swap it out. Um, because I'm kind of familiar with that area already. So definitely a do-it-yourself job. It is a 10-minute mod. Um, it went by super smooth. Tor I went ahead and torqued the, the rail plug down to 70 foot-pounds. It wasn't hard. Make sure you have a good torque wrench. Uh, just FYI, when you torque it, if you're using a socket, make sure uh, you get a good grip on it because it is a shallow head. That rail plug is really shallow, so you don't want to strip it or round it out because you slip off of the head. So make sure you're real stable and got a good position when torquing it, okay? So what we're gonna do, get you guys in the stand, gonna crank her up, we'll do a fuel leak check, and then that is it. Got her running. Checking for leaks. Uh, no leaks. She's good, boys. She's good. All right. All right, you guys, so that's gonna go ahead and be a wrap for this. Um, I had to get my shades on because it's really bright out today and I like to stand with my face towards the sun, that way you guys get good lighting. Um, I do have a camera, this is a camera, but it's not its not the best vlog camera, so I'm gonna be definitely looking for a camera whenever I get the funds way down the road. But that is a wrap, um, it, it came out really good. Super simple install, 20 bucks. I paid 20 bucks for mine on Rudy's Diesel. Um, you can get one for cheaper. If you guys have a fab shop, you might even be able to make one yourself. Uh, it takes no time and it's a nice little upgrade for the fuel system for the truck um definitely not the final the last thing going on with the fuel systems when it comes to the cummings uh we do have an air dog on the way i'm going to talk more about that actually so all we're going to have is um we got an air dog 4g coming in 165 gallons per hour i can't wait for it um it might be happening this weekend uh the pump should be here they're going to ship it out today tomorrow's friday and then Saturday so it might get here Saturday so what if anything I'll probably make a video of me prepping the truck getting everything ready so like disconnecting uh, the old fuel lines going to the CP3 I'm gonna do the fuel filter delete um, actually ooh, I might not be able to do that yet because I have to order uh, a delete plate kit but I actually gotta look into that now <laughs> so definitely though um, you guys let me know what you think it was an awesome video or an awesome time it took me no time I was able to come home I think I started at 1130 and I was 1204 and that's including uh, recording times and stuff. So 30 minutes it took me so physically taking it out, swapping it and stuff. It was like 10, 15 minutes. So thank you guys so much. Um, like always, you know, I'm so grateful for you guys watching these videos. Um, I'm getting more comments, more feedback, more likes on the videos. People are being engaged. Uh, you know, the next thing is the subscribers, man, uh, following the channel. We're, the goal is a thousand, yo. So we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, I, I feel real confident we're going to be able to get to that come uh, this summer. So thank you guys so much. For the people on Instagram, if you're not following Instagram, you need to follow it. I'll drop it down here like always, okay? But thank you guys so much on Instagram. You guys are bomb. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. The love is real. Um, other than that, though, I don't know. It's, it, it's taking off, so... Make sure you guys uh, don't miss out on any content. Hit that subscribe button. 
uh, it's gonna be it's gonna keep coming like this so I'm not playing around so you know it is what it is hey, but like I said if you like this video please do me a favor and hit me that like button on this video because that helps out tremendously on YouTube on the search algorithms and stuff like that because like I said before I'm trying to get my trying to get my name up there and whatnot so nonetheless thank you guys so much uh, until next time which will be real soon because of the air dog um, please take care be safe God bless and peace out